Hi y'all, it is Sunday and we are outside enjoying the Sundayness of it all and I hope you guys can hear me because the wind is blowing and I'm sitting right next to the air unit thingy and it's really loud. But we came in a little later than I expected. Ooh, I got an owie. Came in a little later than I expected and little dude wanted to splash around and I wanted to make this video so I could put everything away. Uh, so I decided to kill two birds with one stone and come out here and make a video outside. So it is a Dollar Tree and 99 cent only haul. I found some really great stuff at both. If you see me swatting, it's because as much bug spray as we have, our Texas mosquitoes are, I think are immune to this stuff and probably drink it at happy hour. So we're still getting <laughs> a little stung. Uh, he is practically fully clothed because these mosquitoes don't play. Uh, I'm telling you guys, even uh, sprayed uh, with uh, anti-mosquito spray, we could still get a sting or two. But anywho, let me get into my haulage. I found some really great things that I got excited about, uh, particularly at Dollar Tree. And it always happens when I go to a Dollar Tree that I think I'm not going to find anything at. I find some of the best stuff. Uh, but I happen to have a 99 cent only bag sitting right here. We just came from there. So let me just show you the little random things I picked up there. I do all my produce and that type of thing there. So that's already put away. But I found some stuff that I had seen a few of you guys uh, hauling from your 99 cent only. Finally found it at mine like three weeks behind you guys. Um, this is the L'Oreal Ever Strong Sulfate Free Hair and Scalp System Thickening Tonic. Now, my hair is thin. If I sit a certain way, y'all can see the sky through my hair. I do have thin hair, and the older I get, it seems to be thinning out uh, even more. Uh, but um, now y'all are going to be looking through my hair now, right? I know, totally distracting. Or this crater on my face. Don't know what that's about. I might do it black and, you know, put a little black eyeliner on it and fake a Marilyn Monroe thingy. Anywho, uh, but I need help. So I thought that this might work and come in handy for uh, thickening of the dew. So I grabbed that. It's a small bottle. I almost grabbed two, but if it doesn't work, is it not working is not that big an issue to me. If it smells horrible, is. So I would hate to buy two and then it smells horrible whether it works well or not. I'm not going to be able to do that. So grab that and then apparently L'Oreal was cleaning out their stock shelves because I found a L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Triple Resist Ultimate Strength Solution uh, with Arginine something or other in it. Uh, this is a leave-in just like this one and uh, it makes your hair up to three times stronger, more resistant to breakage and my hair breaks. It's thin and brittle and it doesn't matter how much conditioner I use. If I skip conditioning it by even a day or two, it starts to get real toasty and fried. Plus, I flat iron my hair every day. Um, so, yeah, I thought this would help. And I haven't Googled the prices yet, but I know there are not a dollar anywhere and I know they're still selling them. Uh, Comet Classic Potty Bowl Cleaner. Grab that. I found the Suave Professionals Sea Mineral Infusion spray lotion they had uh, a replenishing and then one called silkening which had argan oil in it but i'm very weird about argan oil some products that i've bought and not just at the dollar stores but some products that i have purchased with argan oil in it i sometimes have a weird reaction to so i don't mess with them anymore uh, and this one does not have the oil in it it's just sea mineral infusion spray lotion Oh, apparently I got two of these in case it works. I'm hoping that because it's pink, it won't smell bad. But here's to fingers crossed to stuff not smelling bad. I hope this unit shuts off soon. I did not think about the positioning and I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. Um, I apologize if when I play this back, it sounds horrible. Um, I've gone gel pen crazy and I keep buying them and I found these uh, Studio Art Gel Ink Pins in these vibrant awesome colors so I grabbed another little pack of those 
And that is all my random uh, needles. Oh, I can feel the bugs flying around me, but they're not biting, so I guess that's good. Um, that's all the random extras that I picked up at the Dollar 99 cent owner. Then at Dollar Tree, I picked up some little random floaty thing he has in there. It's really like a wave runner, a little dollar wave runner, but he tries to sit on it in there. So that's in there. Picked him up these fake little uh, Legos. Uh, this is a fire department. We have a police and something else. <laughs> we have a police car and something else, uh, but he wanted the fire truck today, so we grabbed that. Um, I picked this up, and we already put it together earlier in the day. This is stuff that I picked up yesterday. Um, and I thought these were so cool. Okay, something. They are the steel mechanics, build your own airplane, and then they had build your own robot, and I thought the airplane was really cute. Um, these are so much fun to put together and they're nice and sturdy as long as you tighten everything really really well and it's so adorable because it comes with these teeny tiny little tools to make sure that everything gets tightened up really well but I will tell you guys ladies if you are gonna put these together if you have long nails you're gonna struggle a little bit uh, my nails are shorter than they were prior I think had I not cut them there's no way I could have done this but if you guys have long nails or particularly big hands it's going to be a little trying to put this thing together uh, but I just thought it was really cute that it comes with these little tools so we already put it together it's really cute and it's inside I don't know what it is with this little boy and these things perhaps it's it's you know an indication that one day we will be in Hawaii I don't know but he loves these lays absolutely loves them and something about the summer they're all out and he wants one so grabbed a random one I found this thing and I thought it was really really awesome it's an avocado slicer and scoop slicing avocado is not a hard thing but it can be a time-consuming thin thin thing I sounded like Ricky Ricardo thin a time-consuming thing so uh, slice it open take the pit out and run this through it and then you scoop out all your goodies I thought that was really cool plus they had it in purple so I grabbed it I have resisted this thing for a while because I don't need one. Our sales reps bring us so many of these. Not this kind, but pins, uh, the little stylo pins. And uh, this one was just too adorable and I've seen it over and over and over again and I couldn't leave it behind this time. I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a super stylus um, touchscreen little pencil with the little stylus tip. So cute, so cute. Didn't need this either, but I didn't have this color. It's um, cross between a blue and a purple is kind of violet really pretty will fit my phone thought it was awesome had to have it I found these and they were so pretty little plaques draw near to God and he will draw near to you James 4 8 has a little stand here so you can put them up somewhere I thought that was so pretty they had a whole bunch of them but these were my favorite uh, today I will walk and grow in faith, honor his promises, talk to God in prayer, live in peace, praise him for my blessings. That is just so awesome and so pretty. And they're going to look so nice sitting somewhere. I will definitely find a good place for them. Um, I went ahead and bit the bullet and picked up two of these uh, eyeglass cords because I the habit of taking off my glasses for whatever reason setting them down somewhere and then I can't see to find them I forget that's one issue I'm very forgetful so I forget where I put them and then I can't see to find them so I have to have the kids helping me try and track them down and I've come very very close to destroying them because we almost step on them or I flick the covers and they shoot across and slam into the wall and it's just a mess so I finally bit the bullet and I didn't want to but I went ahead and got these, this pretty little purpley one and uh, this little pearl one. So pretty. And I think they're going to come in handy because I want to take little dude to the water park next weekend. And I don't wear my contacts because I have had contacts flush out of my eyeballs when I go to the water park and that's too expensive to replace. And glasses, of course, they get soaking wet and or the rush of the water will flick them off and that can get very expensive. So I'm just going to wear one of these and uh, when I get on the slide or about to splash in the water, I'll just let my glasses dangle. Um, I found a few more 
Hold on, something's missing. I found a few more of the Fergie Wet n Wild things and I keep telling myself I don't need it, I don't need it, I've got enough, I got plenty, but then I keep finding stuff that they're putting out. So I found the Shimmer Palette and this color, the one I got last time has more pink in it. It's kind of more bronzier. I got this one, little tans and this tiny little hint of pink. I found this awesome bubblegum pink. Ow! That sucker got me! That's a steroid one. It got the back of my calf. Woo! Okay, uh, I got this bubblegum pink. It's not even bubblegum pink. It's a little brighter. Uh, but I have seen people swatch it and it doesn't go on as bright. Very, very pigmented, but it's not uber duper uh, bright. I can always powder it down if it is too, but I thought it might work on my skin tone. So I grabbed that one. Ew. There's a little uh, toy lizard in here. That us. What? You want this? Yes. The pool. In the pool. They're that squishy skin feeling. I don't like him, but he loves those things. Uh, a little random lizard in there. I'm getting, oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? Uh, these are not mosquitoes biting me, they're flies. It's a black fly that is taking hunks out of me. Let me pause for the cause and spray the heck out of myself just one more time, hang on. Okay, hold on guys. I gotta spray myself. I didn't expect to get stung by friggin' flies. I'm using the Cutter Lemon Eucalyptus. It's all natural, deed free. Uh, it smells so strong uh, Even I mean you got to soap yourself up at least two really really good times in the shower after to get this smell off uh, But it works well it, it works if you don't have steroid junkie um, mosquitoes or Hulk flies, but I had to respray myself. Okay, anywho Back to the Fergaliciousness of it all. I found this palette in a col the colors I hadn't found. See, they're all grays and a little taupe up there. So lovely. There's one of those offending flies. It's mocking me. It's plotting to bite me again. Sick. There are so many flies in my backyard. I swear I'm looking around for dead things. Like, is there a dead rodent, a dead bird, something? Because, Or is that normal? I don't know. I've just noticed that this year there are a lot more flies and I try and keep the yard cleanish. I have a little bit of greenery going on. But anywho, I digress because I'm terrified of the flies. Uh, I'm uh, getting off subject. But got this palette. Okay. And then I finally found the lipsticks. I found the lip glosses last time. Uh, but I found the lipsticks this time. Uh, I don't want to open them because if I have to redo this video again because of all the noise back here I won't have the ooh of I won't have the fun of opening it but I got this really pretty dark red in the number 8039 there's not a color just a number this nudie see that pretty little nude in A033 this really deep red that I think might work on my band-aidness, my band-aid color, uh, in A038, and this pretty kind of purpley, I'm hot, little kind of purpley, mauve color in A035, and they had a whole bunch of them, but just because they're there, just because they're a dollar, if they're not gonna look right on me, I don't get them. Um, and then, I got really, really happy because I found this e.l.f. Uh, Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. I thought it was uh, the red one that I had been using forever. They had these out last year and I got two of them and used both of them all the way down to where I'm dipping in my uh, lip brush to use my last one. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, they put it back out. I think mine is called Party Something or it's not the same one i thought it was this one is called sangria starters and it's a little darker it's a little deeper than the red that i've been using forever and ever and i didn't notice until i came home and looked at it but i'm hoping this works it might not and it's not really a summer color anyway but you know it is what it is i could not remember the name of the one i had okay 
So what else do we have here? Now let me show you what I totally geeked out on that I found that I saw so many of you guys hauling. And I just started loading my basket in them. I had no idea that they came two in a box because I was so geeked out and excited that I just grabbed four. So now I have eight. And I'm thinking four I can definitely use for groceries. And then I'm thinking of leaving some in my trunk to organize uh, little dudes baseballs and soccer balls and stuff like that that I carry with me all the time because you never know when the urge is going to hit us to go stop at a park somewhere. So I grabbed um, four of these grab bags. These are 10 to $12 everywhere from Walgreens to your grocery store. These are still selling for like 10 bucks and I found them at the Dollar Tree. I did not expect to find these in my area because you know Dallas just don't roll that way very as soon as a lot of you guys do um, we tend to have to wait a little longer for some of the better stuff so I grabbed four of those I think one is lying on my floor inside somewhere um, I also oh one last little Romy thing I found the elf berry I have the grapefruit and the neutral and I have been wanting the berry it's just the little lip balm in the tub and it's really pretty it's not this dark it just gives you just the tiniest little hint of color but I really really like these I hate that I have to stick my finger in there especially when my nails are a little longer so I try and remember to either carry a q-tip which sometimes doesn't work because it leaves fur all over your mouth or just a little pencil brush but I really like these I really really do uh, so that yeah that's all that's everything that I found at the Dollar Tree and that those grab bag toady things were my find of the year so far I really really liked them I'm totally geeked out and then I have a few other little random things here that I pulled out so I guess I'll show you guys um, I forgot to show you guys this my last haul um, um, <laughs> you better not be drinking that water um, my last Target haul I found quite a few movies on sale uh, 42 the Jackie Robinson story was on sale for $4.74 or $5. Am I getting $4.74 confused with Walmart? I might. I think $5. Let's just say $5. I know it wasn't more than $5 so we'll say $5. Bucks. Um, Unbroken. I had been wanting to watch this one. Uh, true story of um, Olympian and war hero who along with two other crewmen survived on a raft for 47 days after a near fatal plane crash in World War II only to be caught by the Japanese Navy and sent to a prisoner of war camp. And it's how he comes back after he's rescued and becomes, you know, a champ and how he overcame all sorts of things. And I love stories like that. And this was on sale for $7, so I grabbed that. The, uh, the Monuments Man, uh, I got this because everybody I love is on here. There are so many people that I love, George Clooney. Uh, 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 Matt Damon and I love John Goodman I love John Goodman he's such a good actor even aside from Roseanne he is such a good friggin actor Bill Murray's on here and the story sounds like really really it sounds like a really good story this was four dollars and then the big short no hold on a second oh yeah that was seven bucks and then the big short was on sale from twelve dollars to seven dollars maybe and I had been wanting this but I'm cheap and didn't want to pay the $12. Uh, this is how um, uh, 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 when the banks committed the greatest fraud in U.S. history, four outsiders risked it all to take them down. Based on the unbelievable true story and best-selling book from the author of The Blind Side and Moneyball, critics are calling the big short brilliant and explosive. They take on the banks honey because they come to find out banks are a bunch of ripoffs and yada 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 and I like everybody in here so I grabbed that and I know that was under ten dollars possibly five to seven dollars and I have been y'all know I don't want to pay more than a dollar or five dollars for a movie if I can help it but some of these I have actually been wanting and the price went down and I don't see the price going down any lower so I went ahead and grabbed them then I went to Walmart for regular mommy Walmart things and I have started hitting the Walmart clearance like a crazy person and uh, I found some really neat things that I didn't need but I couldn't leave behind plus the price I found these really cool face paint pens and they were each tagged 75 cents on clearance 
and I thought this is really neat it'll be fun for the kiddos when we have kids over we can do this kind of thing with them um, and the sticker said 75 cents and they rang up 25 cents these little crayons were also in the clearance box this did not have a sticker on it uh, but it rang up 75 cents and it's the lighter side it's these really pretty pastel Crayolas this red hot it's a variety of reds in Crayola 10 cents and then this oozy smoothie didn't have a sticker on it and it rang up 25 cents and it's kind of strange colors I like the name of it oozy smoothie and it's crayons we, we can never have too many crayons I don't think I found these and I've already opened them to play around with in the clearance as well flower I see a lot of flower makeup in the clearance aisle a lot and I don't know why because I like it and the only time I have bought it is when it's on clearance but I like it this lipstick was on clearance for 250 and it's really pretty just a really pretty pinkish red pinkish red tone I think it's really nice it's more pinky mauvey than anything it's really pretty it may not be a neutral to you guys but I think it's more of a neutral it work this color works really well with my shade it's called princess and the peony really cute that was 250 and then this foundation stick and I saw the color of it and I thought hmm it may work and then when I opened it it looks uber dark but when you put it on it matches my skin tone so well I was like hey I like it I don't know that I want to use a stick uh, too much just because any little thing can make me break out but uh, I thought I would use that for like under here and like just even myself out a little bit it is very very thick it kind of almost goes on with like a powder a finish uh, but it is very very thick that's some major coverage stuff and it smells it doesn't have any scent or anything so if anybody's curious uh, this is the flower uh, skin cognito stick foundation and this was on clearance for 275 so I thought I would try it because it was like six something so I thought I'll give it a shot um, I got little dude his cherry chapstick because he is particularly scaly this week and I found these I hadn't seen these before they have a whole bunch of colors a red a neutral a pink and then this hotter pink than the other one the other one's more bubblegum and I figured it's a lip balm and I've used elf lip balms before and they don't really tint much uh, and you can never have too much of this stuff and this was two dollars so just you know because it was there I grabbed it a uh, few other little random things there and the last few things are a bunch of pencils uh, they're 20 count number two pencils they had a 25 cent sticker on them and I grabbed all they had I had one two three four five six seven I grabbed the seven boxes and I am gonna blame mommy brain I failed to remember that my oldest has graduated so there's not that much need for number two pencils around here but I'm just gonna give them away to my friends who have kids but at 25 cents I couldn't leave in there I got all seven and that one two three four five and then when I took them up to the register they rang up 15 cents so I thought that was really really awesome and that is everything I'm about to haul everything back into the house and stick my feet into this slanted little pool and relax out here until these mosquitoes make us go inside uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope I can post this video because if it turns out to be uber uber loud I will make another video and let you guys know that I'm making another video but I'm hoping it comes off okay uh, until our next go around whoa uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome awesome week and let me make sure little dude doesn't want to say anything hello I'm finished thanks for watching you guys bye because <laughs> it's not dark you want to say goodbye? Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.